includes God's plan, his power. Grace includes his righteousness. Go, glory to God. If you're with me, say amen. So I'm being saved by his plan. That's his influence. So you're not saved because you stopped doing something. You're saved because God saved you. If you understand grace, say amen. I have a lot to say, but I'm going to close. We got to walk forward, Vivian, seeking under the influence of God's grace. Listen, it's going it's to bless you. It's going to help you if you begin to try to seek the end into the rest of God in Christ Jesus. God says my grace is sufficient for you. I didn't make that up. So God said to me, Charles, it doesn't matter what you're facing. If you stand believing, my influence is what's going to get you through it. I can influence the bank. I can influence the church people. I can influence the mortgage people. I can influence the car people. Some of you are here cars right now. You know it, and I'm a grace. But your credit ain't have nothing to do with it. Someone say amen. I can influence the doctors. I can influence the people who don't have it. God, my grace is all that you need. So here's my question. Why not? I'm going to take five minutes to do this. Kill the music, Jim, for one second. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. I love you. Love you, you hear me? Love you if you know these things, you know you don't have no charge for the day in church. Why waste another four, four, three or four years leaving church when you know you got to come back? Wow. <laughs> Some of y'all have been more than another and more times you've been in the hall, you've been in another church. Somebody say amen. amen. Why are you clapping? They're going to talk about you. Hey, I'm just saying. Some of y'all have been in church more times you've been shopping. Hear me, hear, hear this apostle. Since you know you're called, why not make a decision? I want the best out of this. Amen. The plan is already set. You can't change it. You cannot change it. Your tears are not going to change it. Your frowns are not your listen, your prayers are not going to change it. The plans are already set. The kingdom system is already set. The house rules have already been set. And if you get in and obey the house rules, you will get the house benefits. That's true. Mm -hmm. I told that church in Nassau, and I shocked them. I said, the reason your faith ain't working is because you're really loving people. But I had this message. Come on now. Because when I got the revelation that faith loves God's... I don't want to know. But the, 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 the root... Well, listen to me. Listen to me carefully. You in church. You can hear me, right? Yeah. You come into church Sunday, most of y'all. And at least some more people here. You in church. Hear me, man. Listen. Stop wasting time. Get involved with God's system. Your system did not work for you. And because he chose you, he's not going to let it work. Because if you, if you succeed any other way than his way, then his glory is lost in your life. He respects no man person. It's going to work for you if you work it. Why not? Say, Lord, I'm putting you first. I'm from me in my house. We will serve the Lord. We're going to tithe. We're going to serve. We're going to love. And we're going to live by faith. We're going to sow seed. Let me tell you something you're always growing for folk working in your house. You ain't going to like this. Please come back to church. You want the Lord to bless your house. You have these grown children going to work in your house telling you they ain't giving time. Boy, you all got quiet. Oh, yeah, I'm going to preach it anyhow. You want the Lord to bless your house. See, we don't want to deal with this. We don't want to deal with this cue. We don't want to deal with this. I, I need for somebody back here to say amen at least. <laughs> Listen, see, this is what I'm talking about, putting God's first without compromise. This is what I'm talking about. I expect you to get quiet. I'm going to challenge you. Put God first. <laughs> when my son was living wrong with living with me, Listen. And you know Ron ain't giving nobody no time. But he understood that in my house, am I right about it? I don't know if he ever gave time since. But when he was in my house, when he got paid, Amen. I know he's going to get quiet, but I'm going to do it. That's why I'm, I'm your apostle. That's what I'm going to do. If you want the blessings of the Lord to be upon your house, God's got to be first. You cannot compromise with the people in your household. If it's your husband or your wife, you 
really have little control. Everybody that you're feeding, It's tough for any man. Everybody wants a happy message. Go oh, bless, turn around seven times. The Lord gonna bless you. Turn around, go touch the door eight times. The devil is alive. Some of y'all have spent around so much of these seven, you dizzy all over the door. You ain't recovered your senses yet. <laughs> I'm closing. I'm gonna challenge you. If you put God first, if you're gonna be in church, I'm not telling you stop coming to church. If I'm gonna be in church, why not do it God's way? Why not make everybody in your house understand? I serve the living God. And if you want to be under this roof, you are serving me with your faith long or not. But be certain. Come on now, talk to me here. In my mother didn't pray to ready. I went to so much church now I should never go to church again in my life. Because I wasn't the kind of kids y'all have. I was in the kind of children who got in trouble. My mother never leave me home. When she, my, my, my mom was a church lady. When she went, I was up. When I moved to the States, I didn't go to church for a long time. <laughs> I, was church. I was in church every day. Because <laughs> I would have been in a fight or somebody would have got hit with something. Amen. That was dead. I'm changed now. I'm a lover now. Somebody say Amen. amen. <laughs> If you're going to be in church, if you can hear me, gentlemen, I'll say amen. amen. If you believe my love, you say amen. amen. Why waste more time with halfway in and halfway out? Yeah. Why not show God that he is God? Whose God are you going to serve? The God of Hittites? The God of the Amorites? Are you going to serve the living God? God. If you're going to serve him, why not give him priority in your home, in your life, at your job, in your business? If you're going to serve him. When you walk in your house, God should know, this is where I reside. My ways have been done here. Amen. I'm still going to preach it a few in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God, I love old Shai. He can't die. Can, I, 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 I hate testifying on one person, but i got to keep using our name. When she walked to that door, every nigga she feed walked to that door. Say amen. amen. Take long or not, they come to church. <laughs> my wife sent my stepson to live with their daddy because I had some rules. <laughs> Ask me in my house. We was going to serve the Lord. I'm going to stop now. Pick this up Sunday. Stand up, please. If I could give you my heart, if I could cut my heart out and give it to every one of you all, my God, I love you, Jesus. If I could make you see what I could, what I see, if I could make you understand the significance of serving God, if I could make you understand the things that happen, maybe that we can testify to when you put God first, the things that seem so impossible that you can't even explain that God would do. You know, for a bigger, if I can show you the picture, it's not comfortable putting them first. You're not always going to be popular putting them first. You will lose some friends and even family members putting them first. Oh, come on, I'm talking to you. But you will have to make a choice because if you want to see the fullness of God's blessing, if you want to see the fullness of God's peace, he is very jealous about who you are to him. My God. And I want to leave this with you tonight as I go home. Put him first. Build your life around his word. Around his schedule. Glory to God. You, you, you feel me? You feel me, D? Build your life around what he said. What he requires. You're not going to always do it perfectly. And he don't expect you to. It is your attitude about it. Like I heard the preachers, it's your motive for why you do it. So if you make a decision that like, Lord, I'm going to put you first. As for me in my house and my business, I'm going to serve you. And everybody who comes and connected to me, they will serve you too. Amen. 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 Right. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You can see something change. You can change. I'm not the expert on God's blessing. 
But I can tell you this much. I know what happens to people who put him first. If you can hear me, gentlemen, let's say amen. amen. You and I really in a war for the life of God's kingdom. Hear me. And he chose us for a cue. This world is so anti-church right now, it's ridiculous. If you understand me, say amen. You don't believe me? Just walk outside and don't talk to your neighbor. People don't want nothing to do with our God or his church. You know why? We have no testimonies. We have too many lukewarm people in church. We have people who ain't no testimony to their neighbors. I don't see no God working in your life. Why should I go to church with you? 